This video is from the Retro Liberty archives with new edits and live shots. For any fan of action platforming, there is no greater series than that of the Contra games. Today I want to dive deep into the top 5 greatest Contra games in existence. But before we do that, let's get a little bit of information and history about this wonderful series from a good friend, Norm the Gaming Historian. Hey everyone, Gaming Historian here to give you a brief history of the Contra series. The game that started it all was first released in arcades in 1987, which happened to be a few months after the secrets involving the US in the Iran-Contra affair was made public. Basically, the United States got into some trouble when they decided to sell weapons to Iran and use the funds to provide support for Nicaraguan rebels, known as Contras. Was the game named after the Contras? There's no confirmation or denial of this. However, there is a music track in the game named Sandinista, which happens to be the same name as the government party the rebels were fighting against. The game helped popularize the run and gun shooting genre, and the game was soon ported to the NES in 1988. In Europe, it was known as Probotector, and all the human enemies were replaced with robots. This was due to a German law that placed heavy restrictions on games featuring humans killing other humans. The NES cover art also featured characters that looked very similar to popular entertainment icons at the time. Contra is considered one of the hardest games ever made. IGN put it at number one of their top 10 toughest games to beat. The game is also synonymous with the Konami code. However, it isn't the first game to feature the code. That would be Gradius. Due to its popularity, Konami churned out plenty of sequels and follow-ups. Although it's not as well known in modern gaming, it's pretty much a classic series in the retro gaming scene. Well that's all from me, back to you guys. So here we go with my top 5 greatest Contra games of all time. Number 5 Contra 4 I don't play the Nintendo DS as much as I would like, I am willing to admit that, but when I had a friend show me some Contra 4 gameplay and I got my hands on the game and played it for myself, I fell in love. So a long time after Operation C on the Game Boy was released, Contra 4 was given to us in 2007 and holy probotector, this game was brilliant. Now, this is the first original handheld Contra game in 16 years and unlike many of the prior console installments, this will not disappoint. One of the first things I noticed was how perfectly the dual screen worked here. You will be needing to be on the lookout for bullets and falling objects from the sky. There is no touch screen during this gameplay which I adore as I'm not a big fan of touch screen. I'm playing a video game. Apparently. While this Contra feels and looks very evolved for the early Contra days, it also has that nostalgia feel and it pays homage to the original stellar side-scroller with its never-ending action and heart-pumping boss battles. So I must say I was pretty shocked at how good the sound sounded coming out of the DS. It was fantastic and it kept my blood flowing and, well, since it's Contra, you know you'll need it. Number 4 Super C Super C on the NES did something most sequels have a very hard time doing, not fixing it if it ain't broken. The original Contra was brilliant and Konami did the right thing by sticking to what works. Most of all the familiar weapons are still here and yes that includes the one that we all love most, say it with me. The laser. The fire weapon was changed to an orb type gun which is pretty magnificent but I did also love the original one as well though. Another reason I love this game is that it feels like the original Contra but basically with a new map pack. Now I know most people don't like the top down levels since you cannot strafe, duck or jump but I find it great as it adds a wonderful new element to the game and it kind of reminds me of other classics that I've grown to love such as Akari Warriors and Commando. So the gameplay and control is perfect just like the original but maybe even just a little bit tighter, which make the games even better during all that mayhem and bullet-filled screens that you know you're going to accompany. 
Super C really is one of the best Contra games out there, and with that said, I would actually go as far as to say Super C is one of the greatest Nintendo games, greatest NES games of all time for sure. Number three, Contra Hardcore. The title for Contra Hardcore on the Sega Genesis says it all. Hard Corpse. Core? Hard Corpse? Hardcore. This game was released in 1994, and I feel it was a little overlooked, and I also feel that it's due to it being on the Sega Genesis, as Contra seemed to be mostly known for being on the Nintendo, and that really sucks, and that's a big shame because this game was seriously bad to the bone. You can also choose between four different characters, which was only done previously in 1992 by Contraforce, and well, in Contraforce. The character designs here are rich with detail, and all the backgrounds are just outright beautiful. In Contra Hardcore, you can also hold up to four weapons at the same time, and you can switch them on the fly, and each one is great for its own use. It also features a plot that evolves throughout the game and lets you choose your destiny. This is superb, and if you have not played Contra Hardcore, then, well... Go buy the game, go play it, and if you have to because you can't afford the game because it's a little pricey, yeah, I guess you can do an emulation run if you have to. Number 2. Contra One of the most beautiful sounds to any gamer anywhere. Contra on the NES is one of my most loved games of all time. Now, I would go into the history, but... Hey everyone, Gaming Historian here to give you a brief history of the Contra series. This game to me started the whole running and gunning type games. Something about the music, the sounds, the bullets, anything really. It's just so great here. You play as Bill Riser and Lance Bean, and these two have become a staple as some of the most bad-to-the-bone dudes of all time. Seriously. Contra did it right with giving us unlimited ammo, as the game is so in your face that an ammo count would really have slowed the game down. Contra has always been known for the difficulty, and this is no exception. As we all know, you can be granted 30 lives with the Konami code, but a true Contra master doesn't really seem to need the 30 lives. It's possible to beat it without it. I did it in my younger days, and recently I tried it and sucked, but it's possible. I can openly say wholeheartedly that Contra on the NES is purely impeccable. And it really does hold a special place in my heart. Number 1 Contra 3 The Alien Wars <laughs> Contra 3, The Alien Wars. This game has so much meaning to me. I first played this as a child while I was sick, and oh my gosh, I remember the intro scared the heck out of me, as I mentioned in my top five moments of gaming. I was scared out of my mind. I'm not joking when I say, I saw that image that night in my nightmares. And just so all of you know out there, I swear when I say this, I actually have that reoccurring nightmare all the time. I'm dead serious. But besides that, the game blew me away. As a child, I was looking at one of my favorite games of all time, but in my opinion, upgraded. The game felt smoother, the graphics looked better to me, the music was also ingrained in my heart just as the original. <laughs> Now I have beat this masterpiece more times than I can count, but this game features some of the most intense over-the-top action I had ever experienced with riding in tanks, hanging onto flying robots, jumping from missile to missile while shooting a large boss and... Oh man, the bosses here are intense. The dead turtle type boss in the first level is nightmare inducing. Oh, and how about this? Oh. <laughs> 
This is horrifying and extremely action packed. This stands out as one of my favorite boss fights of all time. It's pretty wild to think that I honestly get a bigger sense of rush and a bigger sense of action playing this than I do almost playing any new game. Contra 3 The Alien Wars is purely faultless to me. I have zero gripes with the game. I love it all, and this game will simply always live in my heart as the greatest Contra game in existence. Long live the Contra series. Here is a big, sincere thank you to Konami. Konami, I know you have made some mistakes in the recent years, but I want to say thank you to Konami for giving me some of the greatest memories in my life playing video games. The Contra series helped shape me as the gamer I am today. So Konami, no matter what you've been through in recent years, simply thank you.